Hello, my fellow investors. We are officially halfway through the month of October. And like I promised, we're going to do a dividend video for half the month of October. Now, obviously, you all know that January, April, July, October aren't really the best months when it comes to dividends. But I figured, you know what, let's just make a di dividend video for today because, well, it's still stuff ha stuff is happening, right? And we can always just update for the estimated dividend income for November and, of course, December. So before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Really does help with the algorithm on YouTube. As well as remember, make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. Of course, you will like join us on Discord. The link is in the description below. So with that said, let's get started with this video. All righty, so here we have the portfolio. And by the way, guys, the portfolio has been doing very, very good these past couple weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, basically, ever since, basically ever since Powell decided to cut interest rates by 50 basis points, right? But you guys can see that on the day change as of Friday, the portfolio was up almost a thousand dollars, nine hundred eighty-four dollars and twenty-two cents. If we take a look at this in the one month, though, we can see that this is up three thousand. $266.35. Obviously, this is taken from September 13th, which was at around $203,627 to now, of course, two hundred, almost $207,000, right? So right there, the portfolio is doing really, really nice in the past month. And if we take a look at this in the quarter, uh, you know, on the three month, we can see that it is up $15,424, 8% to be a little bit more than 8% to be exact. And I do have to mention that, um, well, Broadcom right now is still my best performer. In fact, looking at the overall equities, we can see that Broadcom, remember guys, I do hold 100 shares of it. It is currently up a whopping $11,767.32. It is by far my best position. And if you guys remember, it was my smallest position up until they had the, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, the stock split, which increased my shares tenfold and obviously cut the price by tenfold. But it is still my highest gain right now, $11,767. Following just that is uh, AbbVie with $7,776. $76. And then after that is Chevron with $6,116. So, I mean, Broadcom right now has just been my best performing stock overall, which is kind of crazy to think. Actually, well, obviously with the whole chip thing and the whole AI thing, that's not really surprising in the slightest, but it's just, it amazes me because, well, I mean, th this company, I held less than 10 shares before the split and, um, Technically, I still have the same ratio, right? A, a 10 for one split. But you guys can see that it is by far my best performing stock to date. So with that, let's actually take a look at the investment income. And I really haven't done anything either when it comes to the options chains. And when it comes to the dividends, we can see that the current estimated income for the year, it is $6,675.30. For the monthly, it is $556.28, guys. And so far, we have received $5,029. Now, if you guys can see here, uh, the month of October is essentially done. Yeah, October is by far one of the slowest months when it comes to dividends. I mean, January, April, July, and October are by far the worst months in general. But we can see here that October is very, very bad with clocking in at... Um, well, let's just face it. We already have received most of the income already at $141.91. Only dividends remaining it is up $7.50. So that's what, $149 and change, basically. So yeah, we're essentially done with October, which eh, I don't know. It really does suck. I mean, September was great. 1,026 down to 149 right? That is uh, a little bit disappointing, but it's expected, right? Not a lot of companies pay out in these months. Now, what is, and now let's take a look at where these dividends actually came from. Starting, of course, with Coca-Cola on October 1st, Coca-Cola paid out $4.37. Nice. Then we had Vichy paying by far the most this month on the 3rd of October, $104.23. And lastly, Merck paying me $30.03 on October 7th. Now, I know that we still have 15 days until the month ends, but guys, I would like to run the spreadsheet because, well, by the looks of it, all dividends are essentially accounted for. And I would like to show everybody the calendar to show everybody what are the ex dividend dates coming up so far this month. So let's come over here. This is the spreadsheet, as you guys can see right there. And uh, shout out to 
Antonio Invest for making this awesome, awesome macro. I just basically set it up like this. So that way, it's a nice and easy way to see everything, capital gains, uh, dividends, and all that stuff. But all of it is based off of that macro that he created. Uh, I will probably just post a picture of his channel right here. Again, awesome, awesome dude. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to give everybody this. I really would like to do something with him. But unfortunately, that's not going to be anytime soon. But let's actually run this macro, guys. Let's actually run this macro. We're going to do get latest dividends. And now all of this is just going to be completely wiped. And this will update with the latest dividend yield percent, as you guys could see right on column I over here. And if we just wait a little bit, uh, we can see that everything will go to zero. Uh, there, there we go. So you see everything's going to zero. And now everything's populating with the correct dividend yield. And you guys can see that it's coming all the way down. It shows, you know, the gains and the losses, uh, total returns, that kind of stuff. So it's a really, really cool um spreadsheet or macro that he created and it also updates guys any ex dividend date and payout date as well so let's uh let's actually now come over here and see what dividends are there still left for this month now this is actually something interesting because i just realized this as i was doing this video Guys, Realty Income is paying out on the 15th, but for some reason, um, it's not counting it. <laughs> Seriously, like Charles Schwab is just not counting it because I know for a fact that Realty Income for me pays me out on $52, as you guys can see right there, right? $52.71. However, it really isn't counting that at all. So let me actually just zoom in right there just so that way everybody can see a little bit better. So yeah, on the 15th, right there, payout date, 1015, Realty Income should pay me $52.71. Then on the last day of October, we got JP Morgan, October 31st, right, Halloween, we got $7.50. So this is what I'm saying that I don't think Charles Schwab is taking into account this dividend from uh, Realty Income, which is very, very concerning, interesting, I don't know. Most likely will be paid though, but just letting everybody know that that's essentially why it's showing... $149. It should be at around like 200 or so based off of that logic. So now since we actually updated the spreadsheet, I need to update my calendar. And we do that by this little tab right here that I have at the bottom. I actually see two of them. One is called X dividend dates and then the other one is called payout dates. So if we just come over here and we update all of these, we just go all the way down. You guys can see that these are all the stocks I do own. Uh, we just update all of these. Everything will be checked. And then we come over here to extensions, sheet two, uh, G calc and then we do export sheet to calendar over here we could then just do export x dividend dates and then this will automatically get into the uh the calendar that is connected to my account based off of this uh based off of this spreadsheet this will only just take a second and there we go that is done and now if we take a look at the calendar we can see that everything in red it is an x dividend date and uh, everything in green, it is the payout date. So the next X dividend date based off of the spreadsheet that we just ran is going to be on the 15th, guys. And that is for Abvi. Also on the 15th, again, that's when Realty Income pays out. So there you guys have it right there. And then on the 18th, we got Procter & Gamble. And on the 23rd, we got Clorox and Lowe's. And the last dividend to be paid out will be by JP Morgan on the 31st. Now I'm going to update the payout dates just to see if anything else changes. Probably not. Everything will probably be for November or December at that point. But let's still update it the same way. We check all of these boxes over here based off of all of these tickers that I have. And then once they're all checked, come over here to extensions, sheet to G Cal, export sheet to calendar. Then we do export payout dates. And there we have it. Now, if we take a look back at the calendar, we can see that, um, wow, okay, so yeah, we can see that November 1st now has Verizon to be paying out. But yeah, I figured that there was going to be no other, you know, no other uh, payout dates so far this month. So these are the ex dividend dates for October and the payout dates as well. So before we actually head off and end the video, let's take a look at the next upcoming dividends for this year because it's actually really good. For November, we got estimated at around $448.28 in dividends, assuming I don't buy within X dividend dates, right? But the big one here, it is December. Oh my goodness, guys. So take a look at this, guys. For September, it was $1,022.99, basically at the $1,023. However, for December, this is huge. 
This is now estimated to be at $1,185.39. This is absolutely incredible. This is such a blessing. It's not even, it's not even funny because I have never experienced any form of passive income to this extent. This is the biggest that I've that the portfolio has ever made and it's quite a blessing from the lord jesus christ himself so i look at this money and i'm just like this is absolutely incredible you know i i give it all to him at the end of the day right i really do give it all to him at the end of the day for blessing me with with all of this and, and for blessing me with the knowledge to then give to you guys as well based off of all of this right so yeah that is absolutely incredible and again i it's not, it's not my money is his money that he has blessed me with. And, um, that, that really is just that the portfolio has been performing amazing. And again, it's all thanks to him. And if we take a look at the next upcoming 12 months, we can see that this is a massive, massive jump. We got from 2024, $6,675 to the next 12 months of $7,384.34. The average income now goes up to $615.36, up from $556.28. Again, this is assuming I don't do any changes when it comes to the portfolio. And also remember, this is not taking into account any increases in dividends as well. And looking into the last month of every single quarter, so March, June, September, we can see that the portfolio is nearly at $1,200 in these months, $1,197.92 for March, for June, $1,187.04 for June, and then for September, $1,197.92. Again, this will surely, surely go up the more I buy within X dividend dates. But guys, that essentially does it for this dividend update slash passive income update video. Yeah, there really isn't that much for October. I'll make another one at the end of October. But really, aside from that, there really isn't much of anything. The next ones are going to be absolutely awesome, especially the one November. Seeing that the election is right up on the corner, and that's going to cause a whole lot of volatility, which could lead itself to a great buying opportunity in general. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well as remember, Make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. And of course, if you'd like to join us on Discord, the link is in the description below. One more thing, though. We are going to try and stream a lot this week. A lot. Like, we're talking Tuesday, Thursday, and then the following week, Tuesday through Friday. So we will do our best for that. And um, it's going to be really, really fun. And there's going to be a lot of volatility with all of these earnings happening. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out, and we'll see you all next time.